Testing, testing. Testing, testing.
Good morning. <clears throat> it was so cool. It was so well. They could wear a base pants. Yeah. Okay. But we were, you know, we were bow ties, this shirt, cummerbund, and everything was just casual. It was in it to dance or whatever you want to do. Was it black? Hey Sean, can you hear me? It was a black. I can hear you just fine. Cool idea. I'm gonna mute us for just a minute and wait for everybody else to get here. Okay. Check out here. So Derek is not here today. Um, so I'd like to call this meeting of the Wayfinding and Branding Committee to at 10 1 a.m. First up is, is the adoption of the agenda. Um, can I get a motion to adopt the agenda? As presented. So moved. All right. All in favor? Aye. Motion passes. Adoption of previous minutes. Everyone had a chance to look at the minutes from our last meeting. Any changes? Can I get a motion to adopt those as presented? So moved. All right. All in favor? Aye. All right. Turn it over to you, Sean. Okay, well, thank you all for convening this you morning. Are muted. And, uh, excuse me. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, it's, it's us. I've got to change. It's not you, Sam. It's not you, it's me. Check one, two. Hey, Sean, go ahead and try now. Check one, two. Can you hear me now? Check, 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 check. <laughs> I was just thinking that. How about now? Like a really rusty guy. I can hear you, Sean. Can you hear me? I can hear you fine, Aaron. I can hear them as well. Yeah. Are you sure? 
right. So we're good to go. Yes, you're good to go. Great. Well, thank you all uh, for convening this morning and uh, looking forward to sharing some updates. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and share my um, screen here. And yeah. start this. All right. So make sure you're seeing. Are you all seeing the cover slide? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just want to make sure. Yes, I was trying to share my presenter view and it took me a minute to to get all reconfigured. So um just going to jump in here and just show kind of what we're going to talk about today uh, based on our uh, previous meeting. You know, we had some really good feedback, uh, walked through some of the iterations. And so this is just going to be another uh, step in the process of making refinements and getting this to a point where we can approve it and move on to building out the rest of the system. And it, you know, is from the punch list, including and moving into the wayfinding design component of the project. So, um, you know, some really good feedback in the last meeting uh, about, you know, basically these these bullet points here, uh, and you know, a, a fairly good consensus on a few points, but wanting to see some options and updates uh, as far as these are concerned. So, you know, starting with the colors, uh, one of the things that was pointed out was that the dark blue turned kind of too dark uh, on a lot of screens. And so that was my primary focus in revisiting the colors. And you'll notice that this is a subtle change as far as the colors on the screen. Hopefully they are showing up on your screen a little better. Uh, but I did go in and, and tweak the colors a little bit to lighten them, take out some of the black from the dark colors so that hopefully as w they are used across various media from, you know, screens to uh, print and all that we can get that those rich colors, the, the rich dark blue and that rich green uh, without them becoming too saturated and, and too dark. Uh, so it is a bit of a balancing act, um, but I didn't want to lighten them up too much and end up in like a, a weird navy area or, um, you know, just too light in the colors. I like this, this bold saturation. So I'm just trying to find that balance point. Sean, this yes. is Christina. Um, I'm guessing that if they were printed, they would look very different, especially the greens, because I know how green things are on screens. So what what we're looking at on the screen is it, it really looks black to us, but but I'm guessing that printed it would look a lot different. I would hope so, yes. And I would I'd be happy to share this with you. You know, that's one of the things that we always have to be careful of is like you are all looking at it on one screen there in the um, in the chambers, and that screen might not be calibrated properly for you know good print colors it might look good for a movie or something you know depending on how the tv is sold whenever or how it's set up whenever it's sold they're often calibrated nobody properly. is calibrated properly that, that, that would be crazy it's it's a printed version yeah can we it's, can you send us a, send us a printed, printed version, version at some point yes yeah, I, like, i'll send you a pdf of these files or a link to the pdf of these files and you all can print them uh, and we'll pull them up on your phones and, and look at them because uh, like if you've got a good iPhone or an Android, their screens are better calibrated for, you know, I'm, I'm designing this on a Mac. So, you know, I'm looking at a good, well calibrated screen. Um, and, you know, like I said, we, we try to find that balancing point because we don't want to design for one screen uh, in particular and then have it look crazy on other screens. So I try to use a, a, a well calibrated screen in the hopes that it, it functions across a lot of different media. Sean, yeah. while you're presenting, I'll send I'll send this PDF uh, to Austin 
and he can have it if he wants to share it during the meeting. But perfect Thank of the colors, yeah. And that's in the updated folder. Oh, hang on, hey guys. The top, the top row is that the old one, and the bottom is the new one. Yes. I can barely tell yes. the difference. I don't see a difference. There's a little difference on the brown. See. It's all yeah. brighter. On the they yeah, are some. Again, we're sitting here arguing about what it looks like on the screen, and this screen is no, well. Okay, but you guys said you can send us a PDF. But we're looking at it off of a printer that is also not color corrected. So I'm not trying to be picky here, but that's not what it's going to look like. Most likely, I can, I can tell the difference. I, don't know what it's I can tell the difference. So if they print it, their printer is, is right. That's real simple. Why can't Sean just send us a PDF or a print, a printed version and for us then to discuss it? I think discussing it right now is not worth the time spent because I can't tell the difference. So I got three blacks in my brain up there. So let's move on. All right. Yeah. So thank it, you for trying. Aaron is sending that PDF over to Austin, and it is subtle differences. Uh, I definitely grant you that. Uh, they are minor tweaks between the original and now. Just like I mentioned, trying to dial some of that back because, um, yeah, the the blue was definitely very dark and so wanted to lighten that up so the blue shines through even on you know even in whenever it is in a darker context but hopefully that pdf that's coming through can uh, alleviate a little bit of that so once i get that i'll send that all to you by email you can pull up on your phones um you speaking for myself i, I can tell the difference between the colors everything is everything is a couple shades uh lighter more vivid Brighter. Yeah. yeah, it looks like um, going from almost black to navy blue, lighter blue, dark green, lighter green, orange, more of an orange color to maroon to brown. But again, yeah, I don't want to kill this, but if they send us something, then we can look at it. But I'm sure it's fine. Yes, once that comes through, I'll send that, send that over to you all. Sean, for now, let's go ahead and move on and we'll come back to this once I have, once they can have this in front of them. Okay, great. <clears throat> it should be in your inbox, Austin. Okay, let me go ahead and I'll send that over right now. So this was the, I just wanted to refresh everybody's memory. This is the original uh, concept that we presented uh, with animal crackers uh, fully in intact and included. And so one of the points of discussion we had in, in that last meeting was, you know, looking at some of the actual oak trees you have in the community and, and trying to pull some inspiration from them. And, um, you know, one of the things I did was actually go in and, and look at the structure of this tree and literally traced out the trunk of this tree to get an authentic representation to scale of what one of these trees would look like to see how it would work in the context of the brand. And th so what we're seeing here is actually two things. One, it is an updating of the, uh, the accent color in the tree itself. So it removes some of that um, sort of hidden picture sort of aspect to it where you know you might want to see a, a, an elephant or an anteater or uh, a capybara or something hidden amongst the tree uh, so i wanted to kind of refine those shapes and simplify them so it, it creates a little bit more of that shade and that texture and then replaced the original trunk style and, and with the actual tracing of a tree from there in Marvin. And, and I just thought this was an interesting study, um, you know, and, and I definitely have, you know, like I have a preference, but I can also see how it can go either way on this one. You know, I like the boldness of the one at the top, um, you know, to me at a smaller size, it, it retains its sort of iconic stature, but the other one is a little bit more authentic to some of the trees there. Um, but also that being said, what I also wanted to do was while looking at representing one of the trees there more authentically was what if we were to take <clears throat> 
that tree and sort of render it out a little bit more closely and create a bit more of an ornate detailed uh tree style where we've still got a little bit of that depth to it um you can still see the trunk of the tree kind of coming up through the center and you know it represents a little bit more realistically what the trees that you have there are and so just some variations on the theme here to show uh, some different ways we can approach this because we still you know internally definitely Aaron and I've talked a lot about this and you know we really like the bold nature of this and how it connects to the nature of the community you know and we're really really confident in this direction just looking at which which style we move forward with Yeah, one of the things that struck us as we were talking about this, um, as we were going through the edits, that that just to reiterate what Sean said about us liking this bold direction is, you know, from the very beginning with the colors and the gold and the blue, even the darker colors that we've used in the whole system, but this overall um, kind of format and, and graphic, there's there's always been this idea of creating something very formal and classy for Village of Marvin, something obviously that, that would really represent who you all are. We are prepared to be like the bottom of the of the tree and top of the I can't hear if you are talking to me or amongst yeah, yourself. Okay. I'm not Jack sure. over here. Well, my, this, this mic's not working today. It's just this mic here. No, 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 this. Just that. You, if you speak up, you can think up. You gotta just project. The, the, uh, the bottom upper half of the tree is good in the upper left trunk for that bottom. I don't, I, I don't understand what you mean. Oh. Well, it's the trunk. Oh. Yeah. Hey, Aaron, or Sean, whoever I was speaking to. Yes. That because it creates a stately tree. They can see you point the fat, fat trunk. It's a stately tree. They like the fat trunk and the lower tree. Foliage. There, the lower foliage. Yeah. <laughs> so, so Sean, a wider trunk, a wider trunk, but with the, with the foliage from the bottom venture. You know, yeah, I like it. That's that's the one combination I didn't try in all of this. So, I'll definitely. Um, I'll definitely yeah. give that a shot. I'll be able to send that PDF over after after we break here so you all can see it. But and I certainly don't want to um, kind of see the conversation, but just hearing these tidbits of what you are pre uh, preferring as you look at that, I mean, that's kind of right in line with what we're Sean and are right now at the moment, too. Awesome. Oh, wait, fit. Oh. Repeat that again. I was basically saying that the comments that you all are making, uh, we're happy to hear because that's exactly what we were talking about. That more stately looking tree, the more realistic looking tree, the fact that in, in my opinion, um, it does create, if we're trying to create something that's more formal and classic, that stately tree does a good job of that. So you're really reaffirming or affirming some of the conversations that Sean and I have been having internally. So, so Sean, can you can you make the lower tree with a fat trunk and send it to us? Absolutely. Yeah, I can do that as soon as we're done here. And do you guys like the lighter blue on the lower tree or the darker blue on the upper tree? The lighter blue pronounced the blue. Who pronounces the tree. I do too. Okay. It, it looks more skyish too. But I still oh, want to contrast. see it. The village of Marvin with the of, uh, not an italic. Okay. That's an easy fix as well. I can do that. Will that blue show up on other things like on any document? Is it too light? It's too light. Too light. I think it's too just light. a little bit so that we. So the tree stands out too, but well, I mean, that would be taking an inner black circle out, like we did in the upper examples. You see what I'm saying? Oh, you know, kind of, kind of, 
make it more of the blue. It's still a really pale blue. I just think it's going to disappear on those, those things. All right, well, let's not let's let's knock the blue up then on the background. Maybe not as dark as the upper two, but a little darker than a lower one. Okay. You know, it was interesting because the reason I lightened it on the bottom one was with the added detail. I felt like the darker didn't provide enough contrast between the blue and the greens. Um, but I can play with that balance as well. And that may change a little bit as we make the trunk a little bit heftier also. That sounds good. Thank you. And so, you know, of course, wanting to take that and look at what they would look like as single color as well. And, um, you know, kind of enlarging them. So they're, they're just encased within that sort of sunrise circle there. Um, you know, just looking at, I, I think that this translates really well to single color also. In this, I think we should uh, make the batter trunk on the bottom. Um, solid, so, like trees on the top right. Okay. Or trees right in the bottom, but make it back the solid. Wow. Yeah, I'll have to play around because I, I still, even with the fatter trunk, I'm going to play around with making sure that we have a little bit of this this window into the trunk as the branches enter into the foliage. <clears throat> So yeah, yeah, because in in black and white, it really is pretty dense looking. You might need a little bit more um, windows, as you call them. Yeah, I'll have to play around with that and um, see what I can I can work out. But that should be pretty manageable. So that's the icon. There's like the original and then the variations there just all on a page so we can kind of see how it's evolving. I definitely think it's an important one. Thank you. I like that. Absolutely. So I don't, um, do, can you tell the difference between the blues on this one, the dark blues on this one better than the, uh, the original color slide? Can't tell whether it's dark blue or not. It all looks black okay. on this on this screen. Yeah, we printed it off and everything, and we, we believe you that it's <laughs> it's it's easier to see. I just tell when it's printed, and if you're looking on your phone, but on your phone you can definitely see it. I can tell a difference. Good deal. Good. All right, and so then one of the other topics that was um, you know discussed in a lot of the feedback and that we discussed internally oops, was um, the rich in nature and wanting to sort of adapt that, you know, while the sentiment there, uh, I think, you know, there, there was some appreciation for what we were trying to accomplish that the, the word rich felt a, a little heavy handed by some. And so we definitely wanted to, uh, you know, just have a discussion a little bit more and just, you know, put this up here so that we can see it and we can sort of absorb it visually and, and just talk about it again. Uh, if, you know, what we think about moving toward enriched in nature or potentially abundant in nature, you know, I've, personally, I feel like keeping the, the richness in the the middle option with enriched in nature is still a nice subtle nod to you know just the simple reality that you know, marvin is known for being an affluent community and not wanting to thumb our noses at anybody or you know we're not trying to position ourselves as being exclusive or creating you know any any airs like that but just being honest about you know we are an affluent community but we're also you know we have this natural these natural assets and these um you know these walking paths these parks you know we're looking to expand our greenways and the connectivities um so how do we you know accept the reality take a little bit of ownership of that and play around with with it a little bit at the same time Well, I'm, I agree with you. I like the enriched in nature because it is an asset to our community. And I've got a question as to if 
I don't know how anybody feels about it, but we're brainstorming. If we said it enriched by nature uh, instead of in nature, because we are enriched by, by nature. That's one thing we are absolutely trying to, to preserve. We had a meeting yesterday talking about what we are doing as a community and how we're trying to protect the community in terms of our natural asset. So, what, what so I, yeah, so I'd like to, just a consideration. You know, I'm so glad you actually like said that by nature. because Aaron and I had that exact conversation yesterday as we were reviewing this and we both Agree, said the same thing and thought the same thing. And then I completely neglected to actually follow through in putting this slide together in, in making that change that enriched by nature was where we were leaning. And whenever I went back and, and was typing everything up, I, I did not do that. So you've actually kind of read our minds and, uh, I, I really like that idea. Um, and, and and would agree with with that the potential move to that. And it'll roll over to enriched by community as well, right? Absolutely. I like it a lot. You're done here, Bob. You've done your work today. <laughs> Good to see you. Get out. <laughs> Well, that was easy if we're all kind of, you know, if we've got a consensus on that, that'll be easy, so, you know, for me to put together. What I'd like to do is, um, you know, after we do this uh, before end of today, I will work on these revisions and get you all another. I'll just send over a PDF with um, a couple of the options that you saw with the updates on there. So you all can kind of mull over them individually and we can you know, figure out how we want to uh, reconvene or or get the feedback to Austin about, you know, preferences and, and all. So what, what I what I kind of envisioned is that once once I send this to you all, take a look at it today, let, let me know. I want to get that feedback to them because they want to present a present the council next week. So we're just really going to do a quick turnaround on this. Sure. Keep moving. Perfect. So then I think you may have saw the preview of this. This is the updated color, a little bit more of that rich, uh, rich gold color here. Uh, and then did a lot of variations, a lot of playing around with how we could get this O to work in here and figured like sometimes the simplest solution is the easy one. And, and you know, just kind of dropping it in there. Um, and, you know, having that solid background, but having it reversed, you know, because again, you know, it, it to me in the construct of village of Marvin, the of is definitely this little, you know, this little connective tissue between the two words. Um, my wife is the English major. Um, I'm not. Um, I'm more into math, so I forget. Is it an article? Is is that what of is? I forget what what type of word it is in in the in grammar, but yeah, this that little accent piece in there. So adding it as a little bit of an accent into this monogram style uh, works pretty well. I don't like it. I don't care for it. Yeah, I'm much for the original than I do too. Then, then I I agree. Agree. It's too disproportionately sized. It looked like it, like it, it, it looked like it was like a myth like print on it and it were like Something got stuck and yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Right. the original one is great. It's clean. You can stamp yeah. it on anything. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's just uh, very simple. I'll uh, get some letter seals with that. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right, John. We don't like the new one. Sorry. Okay. Thanks for coming. So well, is everyone okay with proceeding with the original? Yes. Okay. Yeah. That works. Um, that that's easy enough, but I def definitely did want to show the option to to show and I could, you know, I'd be happy to share the other 12. I tried um, <laughs> that you can see in, in different positions and orientations um, you know, to see how we could get it to work. Hey, go ahead. Can you go somewhere just to see? Just curious. She's Excuse me. No, he's kidding. So I'm working. And you can move on to the next slide. You, you've been, you've been, you've been, he has nothing to do. Okay. 
So then we're going to move on to the steel. And as you remember, you know, we did uh, an updated rendering of the village hall and it was, um, you know, kind of discussed in the fact that it was a little bit too straight on. It was a little bit too um, stark. Uh, you know, there was some, I forget the exact words and all, but, you know, we wanted to see a little bit more perspective to it, show a little bit more dynamics to it. And so uh, we, thankfully, we had a few other angles uh, in some photographs that Aaron had taken of the village hall. And so I took one of those uh down the, actually these are a couple of them uh, but i took the one down on the bottom right where we can still see the three tiers of the the hall uh you know we've got the the front uh porch and then all the way up to the the cupola up there and we still have plenty of room to add a weather vane up there whenever that decision is made uh, on the design and and scale and all but i wanted to show what that could look like uh, rendered out uh, first, you know, in the bottom left, more of that just black and white, more of a refined color palette. But then in the next one to the right, adding a couple of levels of gray to it uh, so that we get some more of this depth, some more shading, uh, you know, and you, you just, there's a little bit more detail to it, but still trying to stay, you know, with, stay clear of being too detailed and overwrought for for a seal wanting it to still be applicable and, and you know there's potential for these both to be in the system where the one on the left could be um you know more for embroidery or smaller applications like your uh those enamel pins that you do and the one on the right is for larger applications say something that's put you know behind your your dais there uh, in the village hall, you know, where you can, you're, you're able to incorporate more detail, but just wanted to show how this so, could work. And again, you know, plenty of room up there to add the weather vane. So Sean, yes. The feedback I'm getting from everyone around me is that we're not a fan of the perspective. Okay, uh, correct. I think it's confusing looking. I, I'm, I don't even recognize the building as much that way. And, and it, to me, it's the building is still too big it looks like it's busting out it, of the scene it also looks like you're almost down looking up toward them right? yeah. it's, just, it's an well, that's what you had to do to get all three levels i, I, I like the, the three four turn i showed in the previous picture at the top left showed, showed, yeah. showed more of the building but. so yeah the top left view i guess that's left right yeah top left right. yes yeah yeah that's the I, I like that view the best it's got too much yard in it because there's no yard but <laughs> But, and dead. but we also have got to get rid of that 1990. I think we said that yeah. two meetings ago. Like it looks, looks like that's the address. Gotcha. Or the year the building was built or something or something. But it has nothing to do with the date of the travel. I mean, and that could yeah. that could be easily added to the circle around the seal too. And um, because I do think it's important for a seal to have that on there, but I, we, we hear what you're saying there. And those, these pictures, you know, it's interesting. Um, the original one we did, Sean generated w where we were front on, Sean generated that drawing based off of the actual designs because it, it wasn't a perspective, you know, it wasn't a picture from down looking up, um, but it was from the original drawings and we didn't have that luxury by taking photographs, but y'all are right. That one picture in the top left pulled back further does allow us to um, see more of that building and maybe we can work with that. You know, the yard and everything else in front of that, we don't need to worry about because if Sean's just re-rendering that to put in the seal, we can zoom in on, on that and just kind of see what it looks like. All right. Hey guys, we, we don't like it from the side. It, it's got to be, be a straight on view, yeah. smaller so you you get both wings. Exactly. And take 1994 off the building. Yeah, and put it on the circle somewhere. Yeah. But this, really the, the original one, just smaller in the middle, and take 1994 off. Just, get the side wing. Just zoomed right. out. We don't yeah. know how it looks like yet. Okay. So, and, throw, and throw a, a generic weather vane on there. So the, the weather vane that uh, council discussed, you said you guys wanted a, 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 a sort of an M with directional light. 
matters. And that's why I'm working on getting quite for right now. Okay, perfect. So you can especially Sean can design it. <laughs> I mean, if if we're designing a weather vane and we're looking at doing the initial, you like my vote would be to do the monogram on the weather vane. We're just going to do a big M for the weather vane with north, south, east, west directional flippy things around it. Okay. I mean, the council's already decided on that. All right. Yeah, but I can um, I can add the weather vane up there easily enough, and and I think um, I think that I have the rest of the building rendered, so it should be really easy for me to just scale that back a bit and show the rest of the building. Um, you know, we'll have the tree line still, we'll have the yard, and and um, you know, I'll have to play around with the the sidewalk whether it turns or or continues to come straight out just looking at the perspective and all to you know whether we take a little license with that or not question for you question for you all uh, so when looking at when looking at the seal uh the original one we're going to talking about zooming it out do you guys like how the tree line looks in that one or do you like the tree line in the lower ones tree line up one side. i'm more concerned about the building mm -hmm. Okay. I'm good there. Okay. So that's an easy punch list of of uh, <laughs> feedback to to do. I could, if it's if we're looking at the top one, then I should be able to get that back over to you today as well. Yeah. It would take a little bit longer if I were to be rendering out another perspective photo, but since I have the uh, plan view of that, I should be able to get that over to you um, before end of day today as well. Sounds good. All right. And so then we've got one little surprise here at the end, just a quick discussion. Uh, wanted to give you all a little bit of an update you know we're getting close to uh you know finalizing the design here of the community identity and so one of the next phases as we work through our punch list on that is going to be moving into the wayfinding design and um that one of the things i wanted to do before today and i i, I didn't I didn't tell Austin the other day whenever he asked what we we're going to be talking about, but we've got a little extra time here this morning. So I'm just going to show a basic, the basic map that we've started with right now that shows some of our primary uh, traffic corridors as well as um, some of our destinations and gateway locations. And Sean, so, uh, when uh, you say you're going to send this whole presentation later, uh, I know that I think I'll be very interested in, in this uh, map to look at. Can you point out where we are right now? Maybe. Yeah, I'm pretty good. Just start. Just start. Yeah. So now it's what's the hell's the intersection for two? Yeah. Down. 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 That's more school. This is 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 more school. So I, I wasn't sure if uh, I couldn't hear what the whole discussion was, but um, 
as you can see by this, the green stars are potential gateway locations, either existing gateway signs or sort of the, the municipal boundaries of Marvin. And, you know, you all have a, a very unique uh, border. And so trying to figure <laughs> out where we're going to be putting some of these signs is going to be an interesting uh, exercise. Uh, but the green stars are potential uh, gateway locations and those could be like monumental sized you know gateways with stone and wood you know depending on how those are built or designed uh, or they could be simple pole mounted gateways and i'll i'll be showing some some options for that very soon as far as some design concepts for how these signs might look uh, and then the blue map pointers are destinations uh, whether they are a village hall or, uh, you know, we've got on here the uh, Eford Park, we've got the high school, we've got shopping and the museum over at Publix, um, you know, a couple other destinations. I didn't turn the labels on on here, but I, I'll share the map with you. And so that you all, I'll send you the link so that you can you can kind of drive around on this and and look at everything. And I've even dropped a couple of potential sign locations that could double as sort of uh, gateway signs because they might be less trafficked routes, but it would establish the that sense of place and the the, the village of Marvin identity at those signs um like where the one and two are so there, there's uh there's going to be more signs coming as as we discussed you know destinations and locations and all uh, but just really just starting to drop a couple in here where they might serve two functions one is a, a pole mounted gateway um or or just a, a more of a smaller gateway but also some directional signage as well So, any initial thoughts or questions? I definitely think you've hit the highlights as far as the main roads go. Um, it's a hard job. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> and, and yes, uh, saying that we have uh, unique boundaries is uh, a severe, a severe understatement. Being very kind. <laughs> yeah, you're being very kind. Is there a way to show the? Um, I mean, not here today. But when you send it, before you send it, to to tell us what the uh, blue dots are, because I know what most of them are, but there's some of them I'm going. I don't know what's up there. Yes, uh, yeah. yes. Turn the um, labels on, whatever you call it. Yeah. I'll turn the labels on so that they're each labeled. Um, yeah, that would help. Yep. Otherwise, I'll be really confused. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to remember now a couple of them. Um, no worries. It's just you know, when you send it, that'll be fine. Can do, but yeah, this is, and you know, and looking at one of the biggest concerns I had just from a uh, sort of planning and implementation perspective was your two adjacent roundabouts. Um, but I did a quick measurement in Google Maps, and we've got around 300 feet or so between those two. And so that does give us enough room, depending on, you know, what we need as far as signage in there, that we should be able to put some follow through signs if we're trying to direct people around the different roundabouts, you know, to especially to Village Hall. Um, or Eford Park coming down, you know, from the north and, and different or from the west, you know, just making sure that 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 was going to be a bit of a challenge if they were much closer. Um, but I think we should be fine as as we look to put roundabout arrows on signs because they are much bigger than normal arrows. And so they can make a sign very they can make a sign awkward depending on destinations and scale and all. So does anyone have any questions about the map? Any comments? Just need labels. Yeah. Yeah. So yes, uh, copy the labels. Um, I think we're good, good to keep going. Yeah.
Great. So I think, I mean, that was it. This is the punch list that um, you all have seen before. Just a reminder of, you know, what we're hoping to move into um, after, you know, I send over the updates and revisions today. Uh, if we can, you know, work on getting towards an approval there, this will be my next uh, course of action for the village. And that's all I have Sounds today. Good. today. John, thank you. Sounds good. Um, unless you guys did the Marsh logo, I'll send that over to them and they can they can kind of see what they think about it and we can work closely on that. Uh, Sean, before we uh, close out this meeting, uh, could, could you give them a rundown of what our next steps are as we transition more into the wayfinding half project? Yes, so much like the map you just saw, um, you know, that will continue to be built out. Uh, we will look to you all to uh, review the list of destinations that are currently on the on the map and provide any others that you would like to see considered. Uh, we do have some restrictions from DOT as to what destinations can be on a sign, uh, but you all, I don't think we're going to have much issue with that. You don't have a lot of private developments. I think the one thing that we're going to have to discuss and figure out is something like, um, it's not Thorn Blade, that's down my house. What is the, uh, the golf course there? Firethorn. Firethorn. Um, you know, the looking at if that's something that we're going to try to sign to and how we want to go about that, if there are other destinations similar to that, that need to be a little bit of a deeper discussion. But I think that's going to be something we'll have to talk about is destinations. Uh, once we get the destinations refined, that'll help us refine sign locations. Uh, and then I will be working on now that like, again, now that we're approaching the approved uh, identity point, I'm going to start working on sign design options and I'd like to do two or three different uh, concepts for your wayfinding signs. And that will include pole mounted and monumental gateway signs, directional signage, uh, high and low speed directional signage, and uh, potentially some parking signage if we need that for something like the village hall or maybe uh, I, I don't know if we'll need it at the school that's something we can discuss i don't know if we'll need parking um but you know just look at what that might look like to have in the toolkit uh for potential future needs um so that's going to be sort of my next step is looking at designs and looking at building out the map so that we can uh you know, kind of meet in the middle with those and, and start building the content and fleshing out all of the individual signs and their location with content and design and, and get you the panels and all for the end of the project. Sounds good. So guys, uh, we've kind of reached the end of the road for the design of the branding. So uh, I'm going to give you all a draft motion. You can choose to, to move it or not. Um, so what I'm recommending is to, to recommend the draft branding system for council consideration contingent upon um, contingent upon revisions as con, con, yeah, excuse me, contingent upon uh, completed revisions as discussed by the committee. Someone can so someone can so move that. They so move. Further discussion. All's in favor. All's in favor. Uh -huh. Sounds good um we get fast today john do you have anything else the one question i did have was um i'm gonna make i'm gonna work on the revisions today and austin i believe you had mentioned you're wanting to present this to council next tuesday is that correct correct okay and so just let me know you know if, how we want to go coordinate that is if we want to be there to present or if you know you're going to put this in a packet like how we want to move forward with that and and how we want to go about 
you know, presenting that. We will publish our agenda packet tomorrow. If it takes longer, it'll probably take longer than that for them to get feedback. Um, so if you just want to send me the presentation before the meeting, I can make sure it can be on their screens during the meeting. Okay. And how do see this that map? Yeah, when, when I get it, I'll send it over. What do you say, Ken? Okay, and we'll be in touch about about Tuesday if we want if we want to have you all here if we want to meet online. Okay. Sounds good. Well, thank you all again for meeting and Austin for keeping us all uh, in line and on time um, and looking forward to moving forward. Appreciate it. Everyone's good. Thank you. Thank you. Before we adjourn, does anyone have any board member comments? Tour. So um, I, I need a motion to adjourn the meeting at 1049 a.m. Bob, all's in favor? Aye. Adjourn. Aye. Thank you. Thank you all. Have a great day. Thank you. Guys. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, this is yours. Oh, Stop. Stop. Here. <laughs> oh, people you just gave me an hour and 10 minutes I'll back. See you. I'll see you tomorrow. Nine o'clock, right? Okay. Nine? Stop. Yeah. I'll get and, here about eight thirty. But... And what we're gonna do is let